okay so yesterday i learned how to actually combine two animations and get a result like this so as you can see right now the character is running and what i needed was to attack while he's running right so this is my second animation and it works so when i click my mouse button the character the player is actually able to perform the attack animations which is a small stab animation that i created in blender i learned how to do that yesterday and i thought i might as well share it with you guys so assuming that you guys know what an animation tree and animation player are and i'm also guessing that you might have like a basic understanding of how animation state works not it's fine like basically what you need to do is you right click on the player and you go to the child node right and then if you search for animation tree you will be able to create an animation tree just like that once you hit that you will be getting an animation tree like this and then inside here uh, you need to set the tree node to animation node state machine this is what you need to set it up so once you do that you will be you'll be faced with an animation tree like this without the blend tree node okay you'll be having like a start and then an end so these two will be here and what animation state actually does it it will help you in it will help you in setting up your different animations for example let, let's assume you have an idle and walking animation and when you click the space bar you have another state right which will be a jumping animation so what you'll usually do is like you will have uh let's say you can find here like uh, let's assume the knife attack is the one right so you will have like right clicking on it and then going to the animation tree you'll be able to get that like this is how you can connect the nodes to one another like and if you drag this out you will be able to connect these nodes that is how the state work right so what i wanted was something different what i needed was blending between the two animations which is the knife attack and the running animation so what i did was like i created a blend space like inside this i cre i created a blend tree right click on it and i create a blend tree and what it does is it creates it gives you this right you won't you won't have anything like this or the only thing that you will have will be like an output when you do that and inside this you create another blend space 2d so if you don't know what a blend space 2d is let's assume you want to create the walking anim the running animation that you saw before right for that what you will usually do is you will right click you create a blend space and then when you go inside you will be having like in different directions right so you will add the let's say you want to add what do you call the idle animation so what you'll do is you'll select this right click on this add an animation and then you find the idle you add it to the center then you need to add the running forward which i'll add here in this position which is minus one let's clear that out and then add another animation which will be running forward i mean running backward which will be on the top here which will be in plus one and as for the other two which is going to be the left and right we'll add it here and you can add strafe left here and it forms a triangle right if if this is not here if the triangle is not present you might get an error saying the triangle is not there or something like that you, it just ignore that it's because you haven't set up the nodes properly once you have it you will be able to th that error will just go away so the next you need is let's just say the left right so strafing left right now you have an animation now if we go here okay so if you guys want to see how it looks like after we created this the best way would be to hit this play button and you see the animation is already taking effect now what we need to do is go inside this and you might see this marker it sets the blending position within the space so click on that just drag your mouse and you can see each animation this is drive left this is drive right and this is walking backwards and this is walking forward i mean running forward this is exactly what blend space does right with that now let's try to set the blend tree and i'll show you now i'll connect this and let's go inside the blend tree when you go inside the blend tree as you can see we have a blend space 2d now what does it have the same thing that you saw before we have the blend space 2d where each of these represent the different animations that occur when it is active these two will be combined and that animation will play that is what this actually means so the animation that we have here is the knife attack animations and that is what is being added to the shot when you click the mouse button it shoots 
the knife animation that's how it should be and that is what this means right so how can you do that that is where the filters come in filters control which animation should be for the first and which animation should be for the second so on adding and enabling filters and controlling which animations like for the knife animation only the upper body is moving and below that is like it's fine right whatever is in the blend space 2d that will be attached to the upper like the lower part so for that i just select i tick on this right i tick on these each of these hand movement body spines that way so the whole upper body will be having the knife attack animations and you click ok and then you connect it to the output which then you will connect it to the start right now we have the blend tree which has the blend animation okay now that the animation tree is set how can we set this right like we have the animation tree but how will we call it to the script so the re the way that we achieve this is by first going to the script session and then we'll assign it to a variable and right now i have assigned it like this on ready variable anim tree is the variable that i have used to assign the animation tree now how is does this work just add the dollar symbol and then just type animation tree and it will show up these are all the things which are attached to the player right to the character body 3d whatever is attached to the character body you will be able to call it like this and like that we have the animation tree now when we go to the bottom we need to update the animation right so for that we get the animation tree variable which we declared before and we set the parameter now how can we get this parameter that you are seeing over here there are two ways i mean the two ways that i know of one way is like you can just search for is like when you type parameter it shows you right whichever link is there so you can just give it parameters and then you have blend tree and then blend position and the other way is to go to the animation tree and inside the blend tree you can see right there's two options blend space 2d and one shot now where have you seen that before obviously inside the animation tree like if you go inside the blend tree you see two of them right like blend space and the one shot node these two nodes are present inside the animation tree and which is what we are seeing over here it goes inside the blend tree and inside the blend tree you see the two nodes which are showing up over here so inside the blend so assuming that we are going to use the blend space studio which has the walk animation okay so we are going inside that you see two variables right i mean two values right x and y if you remember i don't know like if you remember like inside the blend space i added the value like one zero like let's select this this is having zero one this is having minus one this is having plus one and this is ha this is having minus one and this this is having minus one and this is having plus one these are the x and y values that you saw before in the animation tree do you understand like this x and y value is what is represented over here so that means it has two values now what do we do with that information we got the parameter and we set the velocity in here like instead of velocity i am using something called blend x that is the variable that i am using and the reason we why i am using it is because well my animation works differently which is why i am using this otherwise if you are using direction you can just use direction directly over here and just add length and it would work it's that simple if you want uh, i'll be making another video on how i have achieved my 2d controller so that you guys can get an understanding i'll make a video on that too like i'm just I, give me some time okay now you guys might be wondering like how did i know that this reserves a param this receives a string and this receives another variable right how did i know that it receives the two variables but that's easy just click on the set keyword and as you can see void set what does it have what does it receive it receives a string name and then it receives a, va a value, right? A variant assigns a value to the given property. So now if you look at this, you understand, right? This is the path that we set, which is the string name, which is why we gave it inside quotes. And this receives a value, which is the vector two that we have assigned. And that is the reason why it receives two set of values for the animation tree set with that we'll be able to call the blend position beginning our running animation would be working fine now what do we need next the next thing that we need is actually pretty simple the one shot right it has a request 
I'm pretty sure you guys can see this. I dropped my screen a bit more so that the camera a bit so that you guys can see this clearly. So the request has three options, right? Fire and abort and then fade out. Fire means activated. Abort means deactivated. Just think of it like that. In that case, what do we do? We create another function. We create a function called update animation parameters, right? As you guys can see, I have commented it out. It's an attack animation. So if input is action just pressed, attack and what is the attack or what is this action just press you can just search it up is action just press is the button or is the action just pressed or is it getting pressed both have two different meanings if it is just press it's like you're clicking it once and then you are removing it right like how you will use the mouse to like like the moment you click the animation activates that's it that's all it's about right if you go back to the project settings, as you guys can see, the attack name written over here and the, left and the left mouse button, which is what we have over here. And when the button is pressed, what does it do? It calls the animation tree and it sets the parameter blends, blend tree one shot request. Where did I get the value? Right click on request, copy property path. You feel me? Like when you click on that and then when you try to paste it, you get the same stuff like if I remove this right if I'm removing this and then if I'm pasting it you get the same stuff and then what do we do we fire it and if I have to fire it we need to get the animation note right animation one shot node that is what it's called so we call it animation node and if you search for it if I remove this right animation node and then you have it right animation node what was the node that we used one shot so we got it and then dot what do we have what do we do we are trying to request for a fire now what does the fire stands for it stands for we are sending we are requesting for a signal we are requesting for a shot you know which is there and when we press the tab we got this Right, so we got the one shot request fire. And if you go to the animation tree back in here, you see this the shot that you guys saw before. Like, let me okay. So, one shot request fire shot it turns on when you click on the mouse button. That is why it's happening. So, with that, we have the request over here. Right now, how can we update it? From what I understood, like uh, when I was doing my research yesterday for my game. I understood that function process delta is what is used to update the instance, right? And so call the function over here and then use update animation parameters, which is the function that we, this is a function that we created before. So if you have the update animation parameters, you call it and then when you try to click play, what do you get? You get a stab animation. I, I like the reason why I like this method is because it's instant, you know, like whenever I'm when I'm spamming, it works. And that is what I need when I'm spamming. It has to work. And so it's just perfect. That is why I'm pretty happy with uh, being able to find this. And thanks for the chatter too, who actually gave me this, who taught me about the filter. The filter is the one that does that, like uh, because the filter is there, it decides, right? Like it combines the animation. It replaces the animation of the blend space 2D with the one below, which is the knife animation. And yeah, so that is how filters are helpful in combining the different animations so that uh, you can have two animations combined instead of, you know, going to Blender, removing the animations and then redoing everything again. You can just use this if you didn't know. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys, I hope this video was helpful to you. If it did, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, leave a comment for the algorithm. Also, if you guys want to see this live, uh, you can watch me on Twitch. I do everything on live stream so that, you know, I'll also learn and also I can help others out too. So you can follow me on there if you guys want. With that, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day and yeah.